The man whose petition led to the audit of the treasures of the Sri Padmanabha Swami Temple in Kerala has died. The 70-year-old IPS officer turned advocate was seriously ill. The man who fought for transparency in the management of Sri Padmanabha Swami Temple's assets, 70-year-old Sundar Rajan. Seriously ill for the past few days, he died after a heart attack early on Sunday. It was Sundarajan's petition which paved way for the Kerala High Court order early this year which directed the state government to take over the temple's assets. The Travancore royal family, custodians of the temple, challenged this in the Supreme Court. The apex court, while hearing the case, ordered a thorough audit of the temple treasure. So, will Sundarajan's death affect the ongoing case? Essentially, it is the public interest which is highlighted in the litigation. Therefore, the demise of an individual will not in any way affect the ongoing proceedings before the Supreme Court. The audit had revealed a treasure worth over 1 lakh crore rupees, but it was stopped after concerns that it would interfere with the temple's customs and tradition. There was also a debate over whether opening a particular vault not open for ages would invite the deity's anger, and many devotees believe it already has. As a believer, I think that uh, this is the displeasure of God. But many rationalists have rubbished this theory. Sundarajan's office functioned in a building owned by the temple. Last week, the temple authorities issued him an eviction notice. He also earned the anger of certain Hindu right-wing groups for approaching the court. Clearly, the last days of the 70-year-old were not that peaceful. In Tiruvannathapuram, Sovi Vidyadharan, NDTV. NDTV's cricket app. Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free ndtv.com/apps.